Welcome to game 10. Didn't want to talk while Rick was shooting. <laughs> After nine games, we're five and four. That was Rick, and he will be shooting against Al. And on the opposite side, since they're in camera view, on the left-hand side, that's Bobby C. and John on the other side. <clears throat> John and Al are a tough team. See how uh, Bobby C. and Rick handle these two. <clears throat> they can get hot. <clears throat> we'll have to do a little better than 50%, I think, to, to beat them. And Rick starts out. Very good. Oh, that was so close. So very close. Definitely two sitting. So a ringer has to ringer to beat that. See what we're getting here or they're getting. One for Bobby C. <clears throat> it's not bad. Not bad at all. If you get one point every time you win. That's why in cornhole, sometimes you just count over everything that's on the board and just, if you're one point ahead or the bag that's in your hand can be the point, don't even go for the hole. If it's blocked or pressured, just throw it on the board, take the point, and continue. <clears throat> Horses is a whole, whole another thing because you really can't block the stake, so you're constantly going for uh, a six-pack every time. There's three. <laughs> Al, Al does throw a big, big high shoe. All, all at 12 to 15 feet. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Bobby C was up there a long time, but he's he's slowly bringing it down. Bobby's shoe is slowly coming down a little bit. Definitely nine or ten feet. Yeah, here comes Bud Shooters putting the. <clears throat> Mike shooting. There you go. If you guys are interested on my other channel. Quicksilver, Q U K S L V R. <clears throat> I gotta watch it though. When you put in Q U K S L V R, YouTube will try to correct it to spelling Quicksilver out the long ways. You know how they always say, "Did you mean this?" So you have to go and tap on. No, I meant I meant to spell it wrong, and then look it up. Look at that. Look at that. There's some great shoes. And uh, you look at uh, different styles, the four, four styles in slow motion video. And uh, we throw one shoe and I slow motion it. And you'll see the different heights and how they flip all four of our shoes. All four of us are definitely different.
As a matter of fact, uh, just look in the description. I'll put it in the description and and pin it on the comment. That uh, styles styles are, are uh, horseshoe styles in slow motion. I think it's called. I think on that horseshoe styles in slow motion, I do a flip and a turn. So you see my my flip in slow motion and my turn, along with uh, it's pretty amazing watching Rick's double flip in slow motion. That's pretty cool. Because <clears throat> I flip so fast during in, in the air that you almost have to make it slow motion to appreciate it. Darn John crowding the stake. Puts him at 17. In the kill zone. <clears throat> Definitely kill zone. See if he can end it in two shoes. Yeah, once once I get to 15, that's what I do. I got my two shoes. I try to end it. And I think this year out of any year, uh, we have the most most uh, six packs once we get into the into the kill zone. As soon as we jump into 15, we usually get a six pack to close it. So that, that is, uh, he's in the kill zone. He's got exactly what he needs. So we'll see what uh, Rick does with this. <clears throat> so there he goes. He's got the game on the line. Very nice save, Rick. So, is it? yeah, okay, we got that. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Bobby C. So two dead, one buds. Wow. Yes, make them bleed there, Bobby C. Make them bleed. <clears throat> Teams do that. You gotta, you gotta make them pay. Huh? So it's in the back of their mind that if they leave the stake open, there, that's the worst thing they could have done. There it is. Love it. Great shoes, Bobby C. Great shoes. That's making them bleed. One, one ringer. That's just a cut. Six pack. I think you severed an artery. <laughs> Bobby C's got a frog. Dirt to choose. 
<clears throat> uh oh. Al needs a six pack. He can do it. Now, I really like his reach, his uh, hand position. Oh, not on that one. <laughs> I just asked L, have you ever have you ever thrown a horseshoe and then it's been up in the air so long that he can run across and catch it? <laughs> and his response a couple seconds later is uh no, but I think I might be able to be able to do that once I throw 30 feet. <laughs> <clears throat> That, uh, not too bad. It's one point, and Bobby C. goes first. Let's see if Bobby C. can uh, at least put one on. If not a six-pack to uh, put some pressure on. John has not been hitting six-packs tonight like he usually does, but uh, absolutely 100% capable of, of finishing the game here with it. <clears throat> Just a little bit more concentration, he can do it. And that puts it in his reach. Six pack will close it. This has got to be on. Otherwise, we're gift wrapping the game for them. Yep. Put a bow on it. And Bobby C knows it. There it is. N nearly nearly guaranteed yeah and Bobby C's not happy with himself as you saw so but doesn't let him uh, doesn't let it show it too bad so that's good good sportsmanship mad at himself So that'll put us, uh, five, 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 five after, after 10 games. So thanks for watching though.